Welcome, welcome to Arizona Real Estate News. Pat, what's my rate? McMaster's and Ruby Graff and Jackie is out. She's missing. There's a rumor going around that she won the lottery and she's on a cruise, but I did get a voicemail from her this morning. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> and uh, so, you know. I, she's going to get you for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jackie has the flu and it's it's uh, it's hit her pretty hard. That's why she couldn't attend our event on uh, on Tuesday night. And I just want to thank everybody for showing up. I had a blast. It was yeah. great. Yeah, it was fun. It was uh, fun meeting people uh, that, uh, you know, I don't know, it kind of gave me some uh, renewed enthusiasm. You know, people do appreciate the information that we, you know, just us from that we give out weekly basis and uh you know just try to talk you know straight well, yeah and and that, now we've, motive. Now, on our live chats and stuff now we've got a face to the name somebody throws up a chat we go, hey jane you know so so yeah. it's neat it's neat to know who these folks are and every one of them were just an absolute hoot i i can't wait to do the next one so um yeah. i did throw Everybody's out a survey trying to find out where everybody lived and the majority of the people that answered the survey, which is only 140 people said they're in the, in the East Valley. Um, so, but it's kind of even mixed. A lot of people said I'm much better looking in, in person than on TV. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear any of that. I did. <laughs> I did. No, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And we had uh, one gentleman that had purchased the t-shirt that said, uh, yeah, read. You know, crush crushing it. it. Yeah, that was great. That was not my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, they're all good people. Yeah, man, it was fun stuff. So, folks, if we have another one. Please show up. We uh, you missed a big party. What is going on, my friends? Well, this chart shows um, our monthly average sales price per square foot this year, and we're almost down to 2021 levels. But if you compare here to the beginning of the year we're still up 2.7%. So all of these gains here are kaput. So the market has definitely made its made its turn. It has not dipped down below 2021 levels yet, but it's clearly heading in that direction. And uh, and our active listings are taking its seasonal turn. Today we're at 20,100. Last week we were at 20,300. So it's it's doing its holiday dip and we all like a little holiday dip, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. So, I mean, you can't complain about that. Um, but this is the number um, that's interesting to watch. And that is that uh, the number of percent of closings with seller concessions is 44.6%. It's climbed a little bit yet again. And I think from what I've read that, um, when a market starts to turn, this number is one of the first to climb before you start seeing a lot of price reductions. Now, the price reductions were running um, at about five to six thousand over a seven day period, and now they're down to about four thousand. So people aren't coming in as hot as they used to, and then having to hurry up and lower their price reduct, you know, lower the price. But uh, uh, but that's what we're seeing there, and uh, and then. Uh, Pat, I'm going to ask you some question on rates. They're, according to this survey here, at 6.65. But um, tell me what's going on today. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, so Pat, what's your rate? McMaster's uh, is up now, huh? Yeah, you're up. Yeah. Okay. Your I turn. just, I just um, threw it at you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you didn't give me any. Yeah, kind of no, didn't even. That's no, a drill. Me, it. No problem. Right on the stage. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, we you know today the market was. I mean, the five and a half coupon was down thirty four basis points. The Treasury the U.S. ten year was up nine basis points based on, um, you know, Bullard, a Federal Reserve by the name of Bullard. He's a St. Louis federal governor. Uh, stated that uh, he thinks that the target rate should be around seven percent, and um, that threw the market in a little bit of a tizzy this morning. That's and, this guy uh, here. Yeah. Yep. And He's basically uh, saying, well, we haven't made an impact yet, so don't get too giddy. Yeah, the, the great thing is he's yeah, never been right. The great thing is he's never been right. <laughs> so um that's that's the good news. Um I want yeah, that job. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, well, and Barry, Barry goes on, Barry Habib, like you said, who I follow, who's been, he's been spot on. I mean, um, you know, he said that uh, Bullard is basically, um, you know, the, all these guys are academia. You now they have not, he, they've had not a real job in the real world. He said they have, none of them have had even a lemonade stand, um, the way he put it this morning. So he kind of, he just loves the blast of some of these guys. But you see this, uh, Rates we had the staircase climb. Now we're seeing this choppiness. Obviously, we're which is good. We're seeing rates come down. This is the rate chart, and uh, it's pretty amazing if you break this down. Um, if I can break this down further, how you saw this these lines of support, and then we saw this day last yes last week uh, Thursday. We had a great day. It was over. You know the treasuries were up or the mortgage backed securities were up two hundred basis points. Rates were down about a half to five eighths of a point. But these support lines, and it broke through this support line. These support lines are pretty substantial. I mean, if we see some some good news in the next couple months, I mean, you know, that's what Barry's saying that we could see some. We're gonna see some fluctuations, some volatility in rates here going into December, as far as what the Feds are gonna say. But obviously, it's consensus kind of that they're gonna be be bumping them up fifty basis points. But there just seems to be some jostling around now because the federal governors are kind of all, as we mentioned last week, they're kind of all dissenting one way or the other one saying now oh, we got to raise it to seven percent the other one says yeah oh, let's just wait and see so i think you're going to see some volatility in rates but um i don't i just think the market is smarter than one guy this bollard and uh i personally thought that thursday was um internally a great day because it showed that the market's definitely going to react to positive inflation news and could soften up a lot quicker than what people anticipate. One of the things, you know, you guys that I've heard a lot is that, you know, there's um, people are waiting, you know, and, and yep. we heard it at the party. Well, I'm, I want, you know, I'm hoping rates, you know, adjust and go down next year because I'm ready. And, mm -hmm. uh, and we heard that from a lot of people, yep. which right. that erases the, the crash concern in my mind. Now um, there could be a big, financial calamity out there but ruby aren't you kind of hearing the same thing i'm waiting right we are and um i don't really see that people should be waiting if we, if we if we can get them uh for example seller concessions to buy down the interest rate even in the sixes down into like the low sixes or high fives because of the seller you know buying down or their concessions being used for that i i don't really think people should wait if you're if you're ready now to buy and you've got money for down payment, but yeah, we're hearing that all over the place. Yeah, it's um, um, and I'm also getting and you'll see it in the comment section. They come flying in that uh, you know that there's a lot to be concerned with, and all of them are valid. Yeah, um, I mean, absolutely. Pat, what are you Even hearing in the? I mean, I was reading in the um, in the news yesterday that the treasury market's kind of showing some signs of stress that the treasury auctions are not producing the results that they're hoping for. Do you think yeah, there's I mean, going to be any cracks in the armor there? I mean, they're seeing, I mean, the last couple auctions, the last auction they had um, went over really well. I mean, um, no, I mean, what we're seeing that the, the bid to uh, the bids on these treasury markets have been strong. That's what, I mean, we've had a couple good days on the treasury because, and that signals kind of that uh, the traders think that, Hey, we, they're going to grab these higher yields with the anticipation that they're going to fall here next couple months. So that's, I mean, we're seeing Barry has been reporting the fact that the auctions have been fairly strong. Good, good. Cause we don't need a credit freeze. I want to remind no. everybody we're sponsored today by Red Hog Media. And this is some recent photos that they took. Uh, and this is an Airbnb um, that she has set up and uh, she loves photographing Airbnbs. Uh, we talked to them at the party and they uh, had just got back from a real estate photography convention, big show, worldwide show in Las Vegas, talking about the new approaches to um, shooting real estate, new tips, tools, cameras. And it was like drinking out of a fire hose for them. They said they have to absorb it. So you get on their website, Red Hawk Media, and the link will be down below. Make sure you put in uh, Rick Helps in the discount code and you'll get 10% off. And we thank them for being a sponsor. Next week, Pat, is there any financial news coming down the road? Uh, there is, I mean, there's, um, what is there? Um, give me one second here. There's, uh, I'll get the update here. 
Uh, there is, let me get the, the calendar. I get this calendar that I pull up. Uh, give me one second here. See, I didn't give you any warning on that either. I just, you know, I didn't <laughs> no, you right. Right. Well, the bond market's closed. No, I'm not seeing anything. Um, it doesn't really say. I mean, Thursday, it's going to be a quiet week. I mean, bottom yeah, line is it's going to be a really quiet week yeah. with, uh, with, uh, uh, well, actually, no, I'll take that back. Retail sales are coming out. Uh, the PPI, back that up. It's uh, the PPI is coming out on Tuesday. This is where it popped up. Uh, PPI is on Tuesday. Retail sales on, on um, Wednesday. So, I mean, there's going to be some joshing around, but obviously the big thing is uh, they're, they're going to be waiting for the um, the Federal Reserve early December, you know, when they meet. There's going to be some joshing around on that. You know, obviously there'll be some joshing around based on what the last CPI numbers came out last week that produced a good, you know, bond market. So it's been been playing around, but, you know, obviously the big news is going to be the Fed. So. And your alien just landed again. Uh, the corporate <laughs> market index is sitting at 899 and we are officially in a buyer's market uh, where, and because it has gone below 100 in all markets, including Fountain Hills now. So it has made the plunge, It, but it uh, it had its huge drop here starting in May, which when you see it start coming down this fast here, then you know that prices are going to be lower over here because this is a leading indicator. Right now, we're kind of leveling out. Um, and maybe we're leveling out because there's, you know, we've been down in the 30s and 40s before, you know, could happen. Hard to tell. But I'm still seeing that on average, on our seven day moving average, that we're still sitting at 2200. We haven't even got below 2200. But the new listings are continuing again to decline, not only me charting them, but uh, taking a look at, uh, let's see, I pulled up new listings here. Take a look at this. These are the same week. Every year. So 2022, 1,490 new listings. Last year, 2254. And that is uh, new listings by day. So, um, I mean, this is a weekly total. But look at it compared to going back to 2005. We had 3,554 new listings show up. And now we're, we're not even half of that. So they're just not throwing them out there for sale, folks. No. And, it's going to be uh, interesting to see what happens day. with uh, – the Christmas is always slow anyway. It's be interesting to see, uh, since we're in a stalemate at market, how much more stalemate it can get. Yeah, I did get a question from a uh, viewer that said, you know, there I'm not seeing a lot of inventory in my neighborhood. Do you think it's a good time to list? Um, and Or should I wait until rates go down next year? And I said, if you don't have a lot of inventory in your neighborhood, then it's a good time to put your home up for sale because we just don't, yet yeah, you know what you know. So you know there's no inventory in your neighborhood. That's telling you one indicator. But you don't know what rates are going to be next year. And we don't know how right. sales are going to be. I said, but either way, uh, be prepared for it to take some time. Because the one thing we do know is we don't have very many buyers. And uh, well, the... Go ahead. Sorry. No, I mean, that's that's the fact. Yeah. It's out there. The, there's not a big buyer pool. Right. There and is, the... but they're just hiding right now. They're... Well, the people that are looking now are the serious buyers too. So if you put your house on the market and you have people looking now, those are people that are serious about moving during Christmas break or, you know, that type of thing. So, I mean. Well, the other thing too, I was talking to an agent this morning. They sent us an offer on a house and I said, I said, it's funny. You know, he goes, well, my buyer just wants to get a good, a good deal. And I said, it's funny how the market's acting right now. Let's say you got a house and it's, it's worth $400,000. Not based on past sales, but you take everything into consideration. It's worth four hundred thousand dollars. I said the seller could price it at three hundred thousand. The buyer's still going to come in and offer him two ninety. So the exactly they, they they look at the base price as unacceptable. Every yeah. listing that's out there, the base price, no matter how you've come to arrive at that price, is now unacceptable to the buyer. So they just they want. I don't care what it is. I want it below that. You may yep. have already offered them a pretty good price and a pretty good bargain. It's going to be ignored. So you have to take that into consideration when you set your pricing that you're not going to get offered that price, no matter how sweet it is right now. Mm -hmm. I called it buyer revenge. <laughs> yeah. You hosed me last year. I don't care what you're asking for. 
I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I mean, buyers are just kind of like, okay, we're going to stick it to you now. You know, we want seller concessions. We want this. We want that. And it's, it's human psychology. What goes around comes around. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, um, I'm curious to watch some of the numbers next week. I don't expect a whole lot of movement, not like a real estate's a week by week thing, but we're all kind of sitting back now to try and see what's going to go on in, uh, in January until then it's just, we're just going to kind of muddle along and see what happens, but uh, have yeah. a fabulous weekend, everybody. And again, thanks for showing up at the, at the soiree and stay tuned. We'll do another. I mean, it's up to me. I'd hold another one next week. It was so much fun. It was great getting to, to talk to everybody. It was fun. Yeah. I like meeting people and that yeah. was just fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, I would do one next week, but I would make Pat pay for it. So yeah. <laughs> I tried. Did you notice that when they brought up the tab, yeah. I, I told them, I, go, I got, I, I got, <laughs> I got alligator arms. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying to see what your expression was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Pat. You didn't pass out. I, so <laughs> I had two broken arms. Couldn't reach for my wallet. <laughs> yeah, <they're good. laughs> All right, guys, have a good rest of the week. All right, Thank take you care. Too. Bye, guys.